me, look at all that. You're still deciding whether or not you shave it or just let it grow out. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. It's Thursday, it is 7 o'clock at night on Thursday, and I am starting this vlog much later than I intended. Actually, the same day, same time as yesterday, but today I just got into the office really late because I had a really rough start to the morning. I slept at 7 a.m., woke up at 9 because um, I had the uh, mechanics were coming over to tow my car to the shop, so I had to give them the keys, do all that stuff. And I took this clip right here. And literally, like, seconds after this clip, I walked back into my room. I was going to go pass out for a couple more hours. As I got into my room, a huge pressure on my chest occurred. It was so sudden, and, and it, you know, felt like a huge weight on my chest for a minute that I literally collapsed to my knees uh, and, you know, was able to get back up after a little bit, um, had a glass of water, and... You know, it was just kind of to calm down because I could feel and hear my heart palpitating. So thankfully, my father works at the hospital here and was able to give me an appointment schedule to go check it out and stuff like that. So, you know, I just want to be safe, rather be safe than sorry. So getting that checked out uh, later this week. Um, now, I've always had things like high blood pressure naturally and things of that nature, but I'm no medical expert. But the whole cause and correlation being that, you know, I can only imagine with all the stress that I've been under lately, in conjunction with the very, very poor sleeping and probably poor diet that uh, it had something to do with it, I can only imagine. And it's a scary thing to think that, like, you know, stress is something that you can't physically see on anybody or any one person. But to think that it can cause these reactions for things like that to happen, like, it's it was a big, like, um, you know, light bulb moment. I don't, I don't know why I snapped there, but <laughs> a big light bulb moment. Like, man, like, something needs to change here whether that means, like, you know, finding ways to decompress more or, or, or whatever, but, like, something needs to change here because things like that I do not want happening again. So I realize that's probably a heavy way to start the vlog. So enjoy this time lapse of a sunset to offset all of that. So in light of recent events, I am trying to take it a little bit more easier today. I am working from the bedroom also from the MacBook Air. So it is now 11.30 at night. I'm finally back in the office. Uh, my day so far has just been kind of like this flat line. I've been taking it really easy and just kind of slowly ramping it up. I spent the last three to four hours resting in my room and knocked out for a little bit. Um, so now I'm just coming back in because I have to finish some video recordings. I have some emails I want to send out and get done uh, before the weekend hits. Tomorrow's already Friday for me. And tomorrow I just have so much ongoing, not just work-wise, but I have a friend who's um, moving apartments. So we're going to be helping him get settled in tomorrow. So, um, you know, I just want to get as much done right now as possible. That way tomorrow when I have that whole part of my day kind of booked, I don't have to worry about too much. And I got to get these vlogs edited and uploaded, well, more specifically, this vlog right here. So much for fixing that sleeping schedule. So I want to talk a little bit about decision fatigue and what that means, uh, seeing as I'm up late anyways and have time to talk to you all. Um, I'm up late now because I decided to work throughout the night into the morning, and I was just going to sleep in my Friday morning slash afternoon and get some rest. Um, because my Friday just kind of got like turned upside down. I have a clean slate for my Friday, which is very interesting. Like I, I rarely have a clean slate for my day. It kind of scares me when I have like an open day in my schedule. Um, reason being in the last couple hours, like everything has kind of just changed <laughs> as far as what I was going to do Friday. Uh, all my friends have like their, their plans have changed. So I was, just like, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to stay up and work and um, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, and that's interesting to me because I've always had like two conflicting ideologies when it comes to like scheduling. A part of me like loves the idea of being packed and having something to always do and not having like gaps in between my schedule. Another part of me loves that spontaneity and like and as an entrepreneur being able to be flexible and free with my time. Um, but you can't have too much of one or the other because in one end like 
you can't have your day super packed where if one thing goes wrong and offsets everything else and the other end you can't have it too lackadaisical where you just don't get anything done. It's about trying to find that balance. And for me, my general rule of thumb is like I always want to spend my 24 hours in a day doing things that I want to do, doing things that matter to me. And not necessarily productive, not necessarily being busy, but not having gaps in between. Not being, you know, or not succumbing to that word that is boredom. Like, I don't understand what that term means in 2015. Um, and that's what I strive for in my scheduling. And one thing that's really helped me, and I was talking to a friend recently about this, is this idea of, like, decision fatigue. The people I admired the most when I was growing up, and, and to this day, it's something I tried to adapt, is this idea where, like, they commit to something and, like, that decision is their priority and like that's it and 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 the idea of not having to like weigh out a lot of other options it it, it reduces the amount of stress and fatigue that you're going to have and the bigger decisions that you have to make so something as simple as like making plans with somebody like if you make plans that is your you know that's the plan and if unless it's like life-threatening or circumstances really change that you have to cancel like don't go shopping around for other, like, this isn't like a cart where you get to gather everything and then decide at the end what you want. More so, like, if you allot your time to something, just allot your time to that and, and be focused on that. And it sounds super minuscule. It sounds super simple, but it really does go a long way. And for me, I've always tried to carry my life as such. Like, if I make priorities, if I make a plan, if I even set, like, a business meeting, for example, there's a lot of times where I'll have a business meeting at, like, 4 or 5 in the morning, but I'll be out with my friends the night before, and, like, um, sometimes I don't want to leave, the, you know, when I'm hanging out with them, but I have to. Or sometimes I get home and I'm tired because it's, like, literally I, I get home at 3 and I have a meeting at 5. Um, but I commit to it because that's what I set in stone. And, and then doing that, you know, to me, helps in the long run.